have a just over two weeks, would you believe, until the Scottish Premiership gets back underway. So how are preparations going for the new season? Well, we can find out and to join our reporter, Luke Shanley, who is with Rangers today. Good afternoon to you, Luke. Very good afternoon to you, yes, and we can't wait for the start of the Scottish Premiership season. Remember, Celtic Ross County and Kilmarnock Rangers both live on the opening day of the season. We're here in the Rangers training centre, uh, right in the inner sanctum, so always great to have that access and always great to speak to the Rangers manager, Michael Beale. Michael, great to see you. I um, don't know if you've got much of a break in the end, but how much are you looking forward to this season? Yeah, really looking forward to it. Obviously, we've recruited uh, swiftly over the summer. We've got some new faces in, and in, the squad is shaping up really well. We're really pleased with how the summer work has gone. How key is it to try and make sure that they're all integrated and ready to go for the start of the season when you do bring in so many new players? Yeah, of course. The, the, the boys that were here before, they'll, they'll sort of gel it all together, if you like. But we had a fantastic week or so in, in Germany in isolation, which was really good for the players. And it's nice. There's a nice energy and a, a nice feeling around the place at the moment. How key is the belief that you can win the title this season and win other trophies and progress in Europe? That mentality on day one. Well, the mentality is always there to, to start the season well. We know that the first month of the season brings four league games and hopefully four Champions League qualifiers as well, a cup game. So by the time we go into that September international break, we want to be in a good place and we want all the new players up to speed. The recruitment both ways in and out is not finished right now. So the squad will come together. It's important that we, we, we maintain uh, quiet and just keep doing our work and building this team. On the, the ins and outs that you mentioned, saying it's not done yet, how close are you to, to adding more players into the team? Well, there's a lot of speculation around one or two names, and, and, and I don't know why that's gathered so much pace, because I think they're a little way off just yet, and they're not the only names we're looking at. I think, uh, as our squad, we, we spoke about wanting it to be tighter, and we think that there's a lot of competition for places, but with that, one or two players naturally will want some guarantees to play regularly. So I think there will be some change. And the one or two names out there, they're very good players, but there's nothing right imminent uh, as today, if you like. Yeah, I have to ask you directly then. Danilo's been one that's certainly been mentioned. Is that a player that you've made a bid for? And, and how interested are you in him? Yeah, there's talks in the background on that one, but he's fine odds player at the moment. They've also got their building uh, after a really successful campaign last year. So we'll keep that just uh, between the two clubs at the moment. And if there's any news on it, we'll update. He's, he's obviously a good player. So Fuentes, is that something that's getting closer? Yeah, it is, it is getting closer. Again, you know, uh, logistics of that one and, and work permits and everything else that goes in between it. The clubs are still talking. He's out of contract at the end of the year and we have an agreement for that and we would like to bring it, obviously, uh, to close early if we can so that he can join us in this window. So those discussions are ongoing. How difficult is the balance between making sure you have a strong squad but also being fair to players that might not feature as regularly to, to let them move on or, or move them on to, to make sure that you do have that tight squad and competitive squad? The honesty is really important and um, you know, with the players that have already moved on, the honesty was, was there quite early in the time and then you're professional and we do what we have to do. We're very privileged in our job, both players and staff. So some time to time, there's some honesty in the conversations, but you get on with your job as a professional in the meantime. And the players were able to do that last year, I thought. And going into this season, I think it's important that everyone has clarity on their role and they buy into it because then they'll be all in and relentless over the 56 or 60 games that we hope to play next year. It's an important season for everybody. Um, and the eyes are going to be on us. We're aware of that. You've had a, a pre-season or you're still undergoing a, a pre-season with this team. How key is that now for you, given that you came in in November, December? Well, it feels great that we've had this time together to, to pick some players to come into the squad, to add their quality, to spend that time building this team. We're still only 11 or 12 sessions into pre-season and had our first real game, if you like, against Newcastle in the week, which I thought was a fantastic challenge and test for us. We go into... Hamburg tomorrow, Olympiakos and Hoffenheim and I think the quality of opponents and the variety of styles will be a big help for us building for that first game against Kilmarnock and, uh, and obviously then into the Champions League quickly. We're awaiting that draw on Monday with excitement. 
In terms of the Scottish Premiership battle, it's quite intriguing. There's been change at Celtic, for example, with Brendan Rodgers coming in. How much are you looking forward to, to pitting your wits against him? Yeah, look, we're in a league where a lot of play there's a lot of turnover in the players. You know, the finances in the clubs. There's a lot of turnovers in the other other teams as well. So we'll have to pay close attention to the Via Play Cup, for example, and see the new faces in some of the other teams. We know across the city they'll be strengthening as well, and, and they'll feel it's an exciting time for them. And it's a long season, so I don't want to get into that chat just now. But we're we're obviously focused here on ourselves. And just finally, you mentioned Europe trying to not only get into the Champions League but better or improve on last season after a difficult group stage. How important is that for you in this club? Really important. You know, the, the opportunity to play in that competition is the optimal level for the players. It's the, where everybody wants to get out in football to play in the Champions League. We've done very well in Europe the last few years, certainly in the Europa League from where we came from in 2018, for example. And then uh, last year to qualify for the Champions League as a follower of the club from the outside in that moment it was a fantastic achievement it didn't go the way anyone wanted um, but this year is another opportunity and as I say uh, no one would like to come to Ibrox we don't think but we know that it's going to be tough to qualify again Michael thank you very much for allowing us in great to see you there we go Michael Will the Rangers manager there and we'll have that European draw we'll find out who Rangers will have next week